What's going on everyone? Today's video is going to be about gator back trailer bunk covers. We're going to go over a step-by-step -step process of how to install them, the tools you need, and everything you need to get this job done to get these bunk covers on your boat trailer. But first, I got to hit the hardware store, get some paint, get some lumber, and then we'll get started. <music> If you like this video, you like the content we're putting out, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It's free. It helps us out. Let us know that we're doing what you guys want to see. we got more videos coming up. Stay tuned. Hey, guys. I did talk to Gatorback today about doing this install and uh, got some recommendations from them from a paint and primer standpoint. They recommended Kinzer 123 and then a enamel-based paint for the top and the sides. We're doing the LED light install, so we're going to be routering a track down the edge of this thing here and installing green LEDs. So we're going to be taking you through and showing you how to do that. Um, I'll be sharing all the tips and stuff that they gave me, and uh, it should help. So there was definitely a couple of things that I didn't think of, and I'm glad I gave them a call. Their guys are super friendly, easy to talk to, willing to talk to anybody and help anybody through this install. So I highly recommend if you're doing this and if you have any questions, just feel free to give them guys a call. So, all right, well, we're going to dive into this project, and we will see how this goes. All right, here's everything you're going to need for the job. Cordless screwdriver, knife, tape measure, hand screwdriver, and a pencil. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is get these boards marked up, get them cut to length. My bunk lengths are 132 and then 55. So when talking to them, they said to take about an inch off of each end. So I'm going to wind up with two bunks at 130, and two bunks at 53. That's to make up for the end caps. The end caps are one inch thick. So let's get these boards laid out and cut. guys so the next thing that we're going to need is a router with a half inch bit offset one inch from the edge so that way your track goes in it starts one inch away from the outside edge of where your bunks are going to be on your trailer so the reason for that is is that when you after your boat is loaded them outer edges aren't a hundred percent covered by the hull of your boat and you're still going to get that light shining through kind of reflecting off the underside of your boat it gives it a cooler effect I understand why exactly why they recommend doing that. If you put it through the center of the track, basically once you drive your boat on the trailer, it's going to completely cover the light. You'll still get some residual effect from it, but having it on the outer edge like that, it's going to basically be like an underglow kit for your boat. So we're going to get the router in this track out. Like I said, it's a half inch router bit, set a quarter inch deep on a one inch offset. Here's the router, so one inch offset, half inch router bit, quarter inch depth. We're going to go ahead and router out all these tracks. tracks cut boards cut to length we're gonna grab the lights we're gonna lay them in there see how they fit and we're gonna mark where we're gonna drill our hole so that way the wires can come out of the bottom of this bunk all right let's get to that
So one thing I noticed right away is on the ends of these lights, there's this little tab. All right, it just doesn't exactly want to go in that half inch track. So I'm gonna grab the router. We're gonna mark where we're gonna to want to put this. We're gonna cut this a little bit big right here for this tab. All right, now that we got that tab in there, that little end piece lays right down in there nice, as you can see. So the lights. So we stretch out the lights. Boom. Right here is where we're gonna be marking and drilling our hole for the wires to come out. All right, so now that I've got the first light laid in there, everything looks good. Let's fit it up. We're going to do that to the next four boards. Here's that again. So I had to open up the ends here and here, and then punch the hole for those wires to drop through. So we're going to get this done to the next three boards, and then next step is paint. One thing to remember when you guys are drilling your holes and routering out them little channels for the extra space for them end pieces, that you are doing mirror images. You want those slots that you routed out to be on the outside of your bunks. So, and then the wires I'm going to have dropping out of the back of the trailer, right at the back of the boat. So when you do this, make sure you have a mirror image going on here. There's the holes, there's the holes, there's a slot for the router, slot for the router, and they're on opposite sides of each other. All right, guys, the next step here is painting. So first we're going to lay down our coat of primer. Let that dry, flip it, do the backside, do the edges, taking my time. That's the benefit of doing this when you purchase the wood ahead of time and doing it in your garage. I'm not rushed sitting down at a bolt launch trying to tear off my old carpet and get these things done. I can just take my time on this project in the garage, spend as much time as I need on it, do everything just right, and go from there. That would be my recommendation. For $28, I went and got all the wood I needed to be able to do this at home. So it for 28 bucks versus sitting at a bolt launch for four hours, definitely worth it. All right, so now that we got this side painted, and I got one edge of each board painted, we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna flip it over. I'll do the back side and the other edge, and then we're done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my top coat enamel after that. So we'll come back once this is all dry. All right, now that the primer is dried overnight, we're gonna flip the boards over, and we're gonna get to shooting this enamel-based spray paint on here to try to finish it up. We got the wife out here. She's gonna help flip boards around. And yesterday I kind of left her out of the video so she was gonna kick me in the butt anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get this started here and get this project wrapped up. All right, so we're gonna start with the white sides. So we're gonna spray the one side, let, it, let that dry, stand it up on one edge, shoot that, get it on the other edge, shoot that. Those will be the white sides. And then once that all dries, we're going to flip it over and then we'll shoot the backs black.
All right, guys, now that we have the top and the sides painted white, we're going to flip these boards over and we're going to do the backside black because really that's what you're going to see from the exterior of the trailer. And we kind of wanted to make that match the bottom of the hull of the boat. So I'm going to get to doing that now. And then after that, we're putting on the tops and the, and the end caps, and that'll be it. All right, so now we got everything painted. We're gonna start out by putting the end caps on. And we're gonna start with one side at a time and then get the covers laid and screw them down. And then that way everything is nice and secure and easy to work with on the other end when we trim it to length and put the final end cap on. So let's get that started. Try to get this centered on there as nicely as possible. Get one screw started. I'm gonna start it backwards, kind of get a little starter hole started. I'm not going to crank it down tight. I just need it to be in place. Check to make sure it looks good. Now that we have one end cap started, we're going to lay on our first layer of plastic here. Get your light laid in there. Cable run through. So we're going to start with one side here, get that started, get it butted up nice and tight for that end cap, get it stretched over. Nice and tight up to that cap. Now we're going to start with we're going to start with one side here. I'm going to get a couple of clamps and kind of clamp it down in place, and then we'll start screwing.
All right, now we're just gonna continue on down the way every six inches until we get to the other end. very important to stretch it really tight at the beginning and the ends here. Use these clamps as you kind of go, especially like how this one here, I just unrolled it, I didn't let it stretch out. So clamps are going to be your friends. They say put two an inch apart right at the very beginning here. If you over tighten them, it'll buckle the plastic. So all I'm doing is getting it down snug until it sucks that plastic in real tight. This is how I'm doing the end caps here. First I'm just kind of trimming it close, leaving myself plenty of room on the outside of this thing here. Just get it trimmed away. And then if I had screws right up to the edge here, I popped them out. This one here, I didn't put any in there. Make sure you grab an end cap. We're going to start with the center screw. I'm going to kind of get it in there, get it started. Using my fingers to feel if I'm flush with the edges and the bottom. And then I'm just holding it in place, getting the center screw started. Making sure each side, this one feels good. Now I'm not cranking these things down tight. I'm just getting them good and snugged up. Making sure I'm holding this one nice and flat as well. Okay. Then I take my razor blade and I start with the edge and I kind of use this little lip right here as a guide for my blade. I can see where it goes in, get it nice and tight up to that lip. Let's take my time, I'm not in a hurry. Cutting it off, get a nice clean cut there. Do the same thing to this side. Okay. Pressing down nice and hard. I get my blade in there. And I find that edge of that lip. And I just ride that edge. And if I, you know, err on a little bit of a long side, like right there, she's a little bit long in the middle, I just get my blade down in that crack in between the cover. And I just shave off just 
a little bit at a time until that thing drops down in there nice and tight. A little bit more to go right here. Boom. And there we go. And then I'll screw in my sides. Push down nice and tight. Make sure that thing is sucked in there hard. Right out to the edge. Same thing for this side, nice and tight, squeeze it real hard. Okay. And that is it. Nice clean edge there. We have got all four bunks done here. Time to clean up my mess and next step is getting them on the boat.